Our mission at Northwest Association for Blind Athletes is to provide life-changing opportunities through sports and physical activity to individuals who are blind and visually impaired. And we are doing that through our circuit workout today. So with that, let's get started. Let's do some ankle circles. So I'm going to start bouncing on my left foot ankle circles with my right. Go in both directions, clockwise, counterclockwise. And when you're ready, switch. Ankle circles on the left ankle. Both directions. Next up, arm circles, starting small circles forward, working our way to bigger circles as we go. My circles are getting pretty large here and they are as large as they can get. I'm going to reverse starting again with short circles, small circles. Big circles, as big as I can get. And let's go to core twists. So keep your lower body planted and then just twist your upper body left and right. My elbows are bent. Do whatever feels comfortable for you. Palms are facing forward, fingertips up. Warming up the core here. Mine's a little sore from my workout yesterday. All right, next up, high knees. Go at your own pace. And glute kicks, switch into glute kicks. Get moving at your own pace. And let's switch to windmill toe touches. So feet wider than shoulder width apart, opposite hand to opposite foot, knee, shin, whatever you can reach and alternate back and forth, opposite hand, opposite foot. Get a few more in there. And we will end our warm up with some calf raises or heel raises. So both heels up, both heels down at the same time. All right, feel free to shake out anything else that you need. I'm gonna get a sip of water. And we have, so the circuit that we're doing this week is uh, the same one that we did last week with an added circuit in between. So for the first move, it's gonna be lunges with your left foot forward. And at the same time you go down, you're gonna do a bicep curl. So palms extended out in front of you, palms face up, but arms are at a low diagonal. And then curl them. When you bend down into your lunge, curl your arms up so that you're getting that 90 degree angle. Then the next one is lunges with your right foot forward and those are triceps extensions with your arms. So you're gonna extend your arms behind you at a diagonal. And every time you go down, you're gonna lift your arms behind you upwards towards the ceiling. And again, these can all be done with weights or cans in your hands um, to make it more resistance. Any questions about either lunges with bicep curls or tricep extensions? All right, moving on next is push-ups. Choose your own adventure, either knee push-ups, wall push-ups, or the full arm, full leg push-ups. Uh, and then last up is mountain climbers. So in that plank position, pulling your knee to your chest. Um, alternative standing option is standing high knees for that. Any questions about push-ups or mountain climbers? All right, getting one last sip of water. Getting my timer out. 
gonna play some music. If it's too loud, let me know, I can lower it. So we're gonna start with um, lunges, left foot forward first with bicep curls in three, two, one. Let's roll. Left foot forward, lunges with bicep curls. Both knees should be at 90 degrees. You don't want your front knee to go over or past your ankle. You want to stay over your ankle. And your legs and your arms fired up here. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is gonna be right foot forward, tricep extension. And three, two, one, let's go. So arms extended behind you, bending both legs to 90 degrees. You don't want your front knee to overextend here. Keep it above your ankle. Really extend those arms behind you, don't forget about them. Breathe through it. I'm already warming up here. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is gonna be push up. In three, two, one, push up. Keep that core engaged. Nice and strong. Move at your own pace. Bend those arms and come back up. Knee or wall push ups as an option.
Breathe through it. Three, two, one, rest. Back to the top. Gonna be lunges with bicep curls, left foot forward. Three, two, one, let's go. is our squats so choose your own adventure for squats you can do a sumo squat with feet nice and wide you can have your feet narrow you can have them hip width apart whatever feels comfortable to you add that jump when you come up for extra cardio if you want um, if you want to squat into a chair sit into a chair stand up that's all good too next up uh inchworm so Inchworm, you are going to reach down to touch your toes, bring your hands flat down to the ground, walk your hands forward, so you're in a plank position, flat back, walk your hands back, and then stand up. Alternative here is a burpee. Next up, uh, does anyone have questions about squats or inchworm? All right, next up is your lateral leg lifts. These are your active recovery. So, bouncing on your right foot, Lift your left leg straight out to nine o'clock and bring it back in and repeat. And then the next one is gonna be the same thing on the right, bouncing on your left foot. Um, right leg goes out to three o'clock. Lateral leg lifts or abductions for the proper term. Uh, any questions about those? Let's work up a sweat. All right. And let me get the music back. So we'll start with squats with an optional jump in three, two, one, squat. Option to add that jump, that first thing come up. For those squats, your tailbone tucked under, helps keep your 
torso upright. You don't want to be bending over. Keep those knees above those ankles. Three, two, one, rest. Next up's our inchworm. Three, two, one, inchworm. So walk those hands out to a plank position. Engage those abs and walk back. Options to do a burpee. Jump, drop down, push up, get back up, and do it all over again. Focus on your core, so make sure you're engaging those core muscles, pulling that belly button into your spine. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is lateral leg lift on your left side. Three, two, one, and go. Left leg to nine o'clock, keeping that leg straight. Hold on to something for balance if you need. To activate your standing leg, have a slight bend in there. Feel the burn in your standing leg as well. Get your own pace. For your side here. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, right side. Three, two, one, go. Right side, lateral leg lift. My hands are on my hips for balance. Feel free to hold on to something for balance. Activate that standing leg by having just the slightest little bend in there.
Next up, more squats. Three, two, one. Squats or squat jumps. Let's go. Try to beat the number of squats we got last time. Speeding up here. Find a way to challenge Three, two, one, rest. Active recovery, lateral leg lift. Coming up. Three, two, one, let's roll. Lateral leg lift. Here's your active recovery, so really feel Free to challenge yourself in the squat and in the For circuit three, we have YTWs. So you put your hands in a Y, arms above, arms above your head, palms forward, that's a Y. You make it a Y with your whole body, or a T, or you make your arms in a W shape by bending those elbows, YTWs. The motion here is moving backwards, pinching your shoulder blades together, add weights for an extra challenge. So you can choose YT or W, or go through all three during the um, 30 seconds that we have or choose a different one at each time. Any questions about YTWs? What's the W? Yeah. W is you're making a W with your arms. So palms face forward, fingertips up, and then your elbows are just bent so they're lower than your shoulders, um, but not all the way tucked into your body. Oh, and then squeezing your shoulder blades together? Squeezing your, yep, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Basically opposite of a Y, but facing down. My fingertips are still pointing up, um, oh. but my elbows are just bent. So my arms are a little bit lower. Are we good with so, YTWs yeah. or? Good question. Yep. Um, what's the, okay, the W I know, but in the TAO, what's the I? Is that straight up? It's Y. So like the YMCA song. Okay, wow. so my hands are straight up, the fingers are out like. Yeah, fingertips are pointed towards the ceiling, palms face forward. It's like your arms, like in the up position of like a jumping jack. You're like, if my whole body was in an X, but I'm just gonna have my feet together. So arms are up, fingertips pointed towards the ceiling or the cool. corners of the room diagonally. Okay. Okay, yeah, and pinching those shoulder blades together. Great. All right, now we'll be back in full, correct? Yep, so keep pinching those shoulder blades together. Pinch, release, pinch, release, and then you can choose Y, T, or W, or do a combination of all of them. 
Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Next up is our wide side crunch. So <laughs> um, don't hate me. Um, you're gonna get into a sumo squat. <laughs> so your feet are gonna be as wide as you can, squat down so that your knees are pointed as far left and right as you can. Um, the goal is nine and three, but I have mine more at like 10 and two. And then um, you're gonna bend your elbows, hands behind your head, and you're gonna do a side crunch in this position. So right elbow, goes down to right knee and then up. It's all side motion. So your torso and your face are gonna keep facing forward. And this is just a side crunch, but keeping your legs activated at the same time. Does anyone have a question about that? The only thing that's moving is my elbow, right? Your, your, yeah, your elbow, but your core moves at the same time as your elbow. So my okay. torso. My torso, basically, it's because it's the activating the abs. Okay. Um, and then the last one that we have is going to be bear holds. Or no, I lied. Third is high knee. So you get a high knee. And um, choose to either do the high knee or do the high knee run and stick. So one, two, three, hold that third one up. One, two, three, hold that third one up to increase your, the fire in there, increase your heart rate. One, two, three, um, that's high knees, choose your own adventure. And then the last one is bear holds. So this one's fun. Um, you're gonna get into a tabletop position and then you're gonna curl your toes under and then you're just gonna lift your knees off the ground. So your shins are hovering off the ground. So you're in an active tabletop. Um, with your knees and shins hovering. So you're engaging your core there for those bear holds. Um, any questions about those? All right, so we'll get to it. Um, we'll start with our YTWs in three, two, one. So, Y, T, W, so have your arms in a Y, a T shape, or a W shape, pinching those shoulder blades together. So, Y, T, or W, choose any of them. The activation is in your shoulder blades here. Add weight for more resistance. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is going to be our side, standing side crunch in a squat. So three, two, one, get into that sumo squat position. Hands behind your head, elbows pointed out to the side. Bring your, do a side crunch here. So right elbow, knee come back up, left elbow to left knee, keeping your torso facing forward. Find out the obliques here. Make sure when you're in that squat, you're not going over your knee or past your ankle. Three, two, one, rest. Next up hot is high knee. So you'll choose your own adventure with your high knee. Three, two, one, high knee. So you can either do one, two, three, and hold. You can do high knees marching. You can just do a sprinting high knee, however you choose. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is going to be those bear holes. Lift those knees off the ground. Isometric hold here. So you're just holding this position for 30 seconds. Knees and shins covering. Keep that back flat. This should fire up those quads. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, rest. 
All right. Next up, we'll go back to our YTWs. Three, two, one. YTW. Add weight fraction resistance. Pinch those shoulder blades together. Whether your hands are in the Y shape, the C shape, or the W. I'm just rotating between all of them. Three, two, one, rest. Next up to your wide standing side crunch in that squat position. Three, two, one, go. Again, that squat position, side crunch is here. Aren't hands behind your head, elbows pointed out to the side. Think as low as you can. Elbow, same elbow to same knee. Really engaging those sweet. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is gonna be your high knee. Three, two, one, rest. Or exercise, high knee. <laughs> exercise, high knee. the ground and hold. Breathe through it. Side to side. Three, two, one, rest. Next up's gonna be your high knee. And three, two, one, go. High knee. I'm gonna do the high knee run and sit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, two, one, rest. Next up's gonna be that bear hold, last one. Three, two, one, go. Get into tabletop position, lifting those knees and chins off the ground, still parallel. Here. 
breathe through it. circuit is our core circuit that will be on the ground i mean fourth circuit i've already done three <laughs> all right so next up is going to be crunches so on your back um you can have your feet flat on the floor or you can put your feet in a uh, upside down tabletop choose your own adventure here so if they're an upside down tabletop your knees are bent shins are parallel with the ceiling um, and you're gonna do a crunch here. So anyone questions about crunches? All right, next up, penguins. So penguins, you're gonna um, lay on your back, same position as crunch position, but if your heels were lifted, they're down. Right hand reaches to right heel, left hand reaches to left heel, and you continue. This is for those obliques, which should already be fired up from the last circuit. Questions about penguins? All right, last ones, or not last one. Next one's leg raises. So start with your legs straight at a diagonal, um, toes pointed towards the um, corner ceiling, uh, ceiling in the corner of the room you're in. And then legs will go up to the ceiling. So down on a diagonal, up to the ceiling. Leg raises. And then planks because why would we do anything without planks, right? Uh, any questions about leg raises or planks? <coughs> all right, um, depending on time, I might just have us do two of these, but if we can get through all three, let's get through all three. Um, we're gonna start with crunches in three, two, one, go. These are for those upper abs, abs on the outer layers. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is going to be penguins, which are for your oblique back abs. Three, two, one, penguins. So same hand, same foot. These are lateral movements, sideways movements. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is going to be leg raises. Keep that lower back glued to the ground. If your lower back starts peeling up, go um, a little bit higher on your diagonal. Don't drop as low. Well. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is a plank. So on your toes and keep that straight line from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, engaging all of those core muscles here. Nice job. Three for it. Three, two, one. Crunches. 
We'll have time to go through the whole thing, so we'll do it. And crunches, let's move. Shoulder blades lifted off the ground so that you get a full sideways motion Three, two, one, rest. Next up is going to be our leg raises. Keep that low back glued to the ground. Three, two, one, press. Next up, your plank. Last exercise. Engage those core muscles. You don't want your high up in the air or sinking too low here. 
halfway through. Breathe through it. you need and we'll go into our cool down here all right i'm gonna get some water <laughs> uh, go ahead and start in seal or cobra pose because we just finished with abs so stretch that out laying on your front side hands underneath your shoulders straighten your arms up to lift your torso off the ground <clears throat> And when you're ready, we'll go into cat cow. Again, a little stretch for your core and your low back here. So cow, dip your belly low, chin up. Feel that stretch there. And then at your own pace, shift your weight, push your weight through your hands, arch your back up towards the sky, chin to chest. Go through cat cow at your own pace here. When you're ready, we'll move into downward dog. So you're going to curl your toes under, push your hips up to the ceiling, straighten your legs, your arms are straight, upside down V-shape. Really push your heels down to the ground. And if you choose, you can pedal out your legs. So bend one leg and straighten the other, and then switch and do this slowly to get a deeper stretch in each of your calves. come down now out of that I'm gonna do a seated side stretch so I'm just gonna sit cross-legged because that's what's comfortable for me I'm gonna put my left hand down by my left hip on the ground reach my right hand up and then over towards my left so I get a big stretch in my right side body And when you're ready, switch right hand down next to right hip, left hand up and over towards the right. Get a big stretch in the left side of my body. And I'm gonna come out of that. I'm gonna do a half of a butterfly here. So I'm gonna keep my left leg bent um, so that my knee is still pointed out. And then I'm gonna straighten my right leg and then I'm gonna reach for my right leg with both arms. When you're ready, switch. Right leg comes in, left leg goes straight, reaching for your left toes. All right, so we did half butterfly on both sides. Let's go to the full thing. Feet together, knees apart, bent out to each side. I'm going to go to a seated forward fold next. Legs are straight, reaching towards my toes. And I'm gonna move into child's pose next. 
I'm going to um, get on to, into tabletop position, point my knees to 10 and two, bring my toes together behind me, set my seat back into my toes, extend my arms forward as far as I can, bringing my forehead down to the ground. And when you're ready, come out of that. And I'm going to stop the recording here.